بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محاضرة اليوم تتعلق بالجانس دبل من قسم الجانس إلى بارت إكزوكراني جلاند إندوكراني جلاند according to the presence of duct within the gland if the duct present the gland of exocrine gland أي يعني secretion of the gland خلال الدكت to the body cavity but if there are no gland ductless يعني لا توجد duct within the gland that call it endocrine gland that secrete that have directly to the blood or any cavities in the body one of the exocrine gland and this is important for them is cerebrary glands this gland that have the secret saliva to the oral cavity and it is the first part of digestive system this exocrine gland that secretes saliva for oral cavity we classified the cerebral gland according to its size to major and minor cerebral gland and according to the uh, type of secretion that of the type of saliva that secretes from the gland to the serous mean watery uh, uh, saliva mucus and mixed serous and mucus gland the minor salivary gland are numerous and secreted throughout the oral mucosa and include labial buccal, palatoglossal, palatal, lingual glands. This is the classification of minor cerebral gland. حقيقة أين توجد the gland تسمى in the lip labial gland, in the cheek buccal gland, in the palate palatal gland, in the dorsal surface of the tongue, call it lingual gland, and posterior part of the mouth at the palatal and tongue. Call it parietal gland. This gland secretes saliva more or less continuously and moisten and lubricate the oral mucosa membrane and digest the food. The function of minor cerebral gland is continuous secretion of saliva so the mouth does not be dry and makes the food within the oral cavity to begin the digestion of the food. The second type of the uh, gland according to its size is major cerebral glands. There are three pairs of large glands. They open by ducts into the mouth. They don't secrete continuously, but only when the sensory nerve and the oral mucosa membrane are activated by mechanical, chemical, or thermal stimuli, or as a result of psych psychic or olfactory stimulation. Akhira, the major cerebral gland has three pairs at the side of the face, secrete through ducts to the oral cavity. The secretion not continuously, but to attempt a stimuli. So the nerve end of the mucosa, when food enters, and the mechanical stimulation, to this nerve end that have lead to stimulate the glands to secrete. Other stimulation, not the chemical, is the thermal, the heat that or cold that have uh, effect on the uh, sensory nerve that need to uh, uh, secrete of cerebral gland. The thinking by food, this is psychic uh, uh, stimulation, this lead to secrete saliva. The smiling of any odor that uh, smile by the nose that stimulate the cerebral gland to secrete and uh, uh, through the ducts to the oral cavity. The major cerebral gland is three pairs. The first one and larger one at the side of the face is parotid gland. It is anterior to the ear, uh, auricles. The second one is below the body of the mandible called its submandibular gland. The third one within the floor of mouth called its sublingual gland. We start with the most larger a cerebral gland, it is parotid gland. Its secretion is serous, mean watery saliva.
It is largest celebrant has lobulated appearance and an irregular wedge shape of exocrine glands. Its weight about 25 grams is yellow in a fresh state. The glands covered by a capsule called a parotid sheet. It is uh, surrounded all part of the glands by this capsule, which is an upward prolongation of the deep investing fascia of the neck. The sheet that covering the superficial surface of the gland is strong and of fair resistance to swelling of the gland. Hakika, the deep fascia within the neck, when extended to the face, it are uh, stopped and not any deep fascia in the face. But it surrounded the parotid gland by this deep fascia by two layers, outer layer and inner layer, and the outer layer is more thick and tough to prevent any swelling by secretion of saliva and push it to the ducts. The boundaries of this gland, the stylomandular ligament is anterior thickening of capsule, which runs from the style of the process to angle of the mandible which separates the parotid gland from infratemporal region anteriorly and separates the gland from submandular cerebral gland inferiorly and anteriorly. So this ligament separates the anterior region uh, from the, uh, the gland surface. Its location. It is actually anterior and inferior to ear and occupies the parotid space or call it parotid blood, or call it parotid region. The region is roughly triangular in outline and has considerable depth and its boundaries from anterior, the posterior border of the ramus of the mandible and the posterior border of the mesial muscle and medial pregoid muscle. Posteriorly, the anterior aspect of mastoid process and the sternocleidomastoid muscles. Inferiorly, from below, the posterior body of the gastric muscle and sylohyoid muscle. Medially, the styloid process of temporal bone and its attached muscular and ligament within the stylohyoid process. The gland is pyramid in shape and has three surfaces. The superficial surface that it is triangular in outline. The gland extends upward to the zygomatic arch, backward to the external edges of meatus and anterior border of external pedomal side muscle and forward over the surface of masita muscle. This is the uh, superficial surface that is uh, covered by the skin. The anterior medial surface is a U shape and is contact with the posterior surface of the ramus of the mandible and the masita muscle and medial trigoid muscle. It is the anterior medial surface. So the superficial surface and at the second surface, anterior medial surface. The posterior medial surface lies against mastoid process and the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the posterior ability of the gastric muscle. The deep part of the surface is related to the stylus process with its attached muscles, internal carotid artery and internal jugular vein. This figure shows a cross section posterior medial surface of this gland. The lower part of the gland extends downward into the neck between the angle of the mandible and sternocleidomastoid muscle, and the superior board surface of the gland in contact with the cartilaginous and bony floor of external acoustic meatus. A parotid tax, or call it sensing tax. This tax is approximately 5 cm in length and 3 mm in internal diameter. The duct arises from the most prominent part of the anterior border of the gland. The duct passes forward about one finger width below the zygomatic arch over the lateral surface of masseter muscle. On the masseter muscle and then turn around its anterior border to first the occipital muscle, its internal mouth, vestibule, and the level of upper second molar. As it lies on the masseter muscle, there may be a small accessory part of the gland situated above the duct and drainage into it. 
the blood supply of heart is gland. This gland supply, but the uh, see glandular branch from superficial temporal artery, branch from external or carotid artery. Nerve supply to the heart gland is really or complicated. The gland supplied by parasympathetic of glossopharyngeal nerves. There are many structures inside the substance of the gland. The structure that's inside the gland bears the facial nerve and its branching, second external carotid artery, and terminal branch, third lateral medullary vein, and its tributaries, and finally the lymph node and to, within the substance of the gland. The first and important structure within the part of the gland is the facial nerve, seventh cranial nerve, exit from the stylometric phalanx and enter the upper part of posterior medial surface. Within the gland, it becomes flexiform and divided within the gland into terminal five branches that appear at the anterior and inferior border. The, these branches call it temporal branch, endometrial branch, buccal branch, mandibular branch, and cervical branch. The second important structure is the external carotid artery, divided within the gland into two terminal ends. The first and larger one is the medullary artery, which passes from anterior medial surface to the uh, anterior border of the gland and passes deep to the knee of the mandibular condyle to enter the temporal, temporal region. The second terminal branch, a smaller one, is the superficial temporal artery that emerges from upper border over the root of the zygoma anterior to the external hyoidetary mediators. The retromandibular vein is uh, from anterior and inferior to the ear within the gland by union of superficial temporal and medullary vein. These two veins united to form retromandibular vein. The lymph node may be found inside the capsule or even embedded within the gland itself and call it parotid lymph node glands. The second major salivary gland within the case and it's indicated beneath the mandible is from its submandibular salivary gland. It is mixed serous and mucous saliva. It is lobulated appearance consists of an oval shape and it's found partly in the submandibular region and partly in the floor of mouth. So it's divided in two parts. The, uh, cons the gland consists of two parts. The main superficial loop situated in the submandibular triangle, superficial to mylohyoid muscle partly under cover of medial surface of the body of the mandible. The superficial part of the gland extends as far backward as the lower part of the parotid gland, from which is separated by, uh, by sub, uh, backward as the lower part of parotid, from which is separated by stylomandibular ligament, which is the beginning of parotid fascia. The upper part of superficial portion of the gland is related to the submandibular fossa and medial trigoid muscle, while the lower part is covered by deep fascia, that is the subcutaneous tissue and the skin. We have other uh, part of the uh, submandibular gland is a small deep loop lying in the floor of mouth above mylohyoid muscle and below the hyglossal muscle, as far as posterior part of sublingual and approximately opposite the second molar. The two portions are continuous around the pre posterior border, the mylohyoid muscle. The gland of submandibular gland is the ducts. The submandibular duct is formed in the superficial part of the gland between the sublingual gland and laterally and the body of the mucous gland and medial. It passes into a deep portion of the foam which extends forward to open in the mouth at the anterior edge of the sublingual foam at the side of renum of the tongue. As the duct passes forward, it lies above the lingual nerve. The gland is supplied by both glandular fibers of submandibular ganglion. This fiber includes parasympathetic component of facial nerve and sympathetic component. 
the arterial blood supply from glandular branch of facial artery. The structure that within the inside the glands, the first one is facial artery. The facial artery is caused through after curving the posterior villi of the gastric muscle run downward between the lateral surface of superficial loop and the medial surface of the mantle, usually in deep loop. The posterior part of the gland uh, emerges between it and mandula at the lower border and an arch upward into the face. Second, structure facial vein. It's passed backward and downward near its posterior part below the medial surface overlap the posterior villi of the gastric muscle and stylohyoid muscle. From above, it's covered by mucous membrane of the mouth and the rest on the mitohyoid in front and hygrosal muscle beyond. The other structures are uh, nerves within the submandibular gland. The first nerve is the hypocosal nerve, the swelled cranial nerve, and the swelled and lingual nerve lie on the hypocosal muscle medial to the gland. We have some lymph nodes lying superficial to the gland or embedded in it and call it submandibular lymph node gland. The last major cerebral gland and smaller one is sublingual. It is mixed of mainly mucous secretion. It is the smallest one situated in the floor of mouth where it produces an elevation, call it sublingual fold between the tongue and mandible in front of deep loop of submandibular gland, between mylohyoid laterally and xenogrossus medial. Below the gland rests on the mylohyoid muscle. Above is covered by mucous membrane of the mouth. Medially is related to xenogrossus muscle. Laterally is sublingual posterior, posterior deep part of submandibular gland. The lobules of the gland are lostly held together by tissue. The duct, approximately 12 tiny ducts, empty directly upward through the sublingual fold to the oral cavity, are of two types. Lizard sublingual, from the posterior loop open uh, separately into mouth on the side of the sublingual fold. The anterior part of the gland is more compact and has a duct called greater sublingual that open into submandibular duct. The vessels and nerves that supply the cerebral gland. The parotid gland receives which from the external carotid artery and its branch as they pass through the gland. The vein drains into external jugular vein and facial vein via tributaries embedded in the gland. Regarding the nerve supply and from inferior cerebral nuclei in the brain skin as a big parasympathetic, with the uh, ninth cranial nerve, the lesser trosal nerve to the outer ganglion. The fourth ganglionic parasympathetic as uh, within the ergotopal nerve as secretomotor to gland. The fourth ganglionic sympathetic from superior cervical sympathetic ganglia to the outer ganglia without synapse via auricular temporal nerve also. The necessary pass from the gland via auricular temporal nerve. The submandibular gland supply by branch of facial and lingual artery and drain the corresponding vein. So we have submandibular and facial, uh, facial and lingual vein to drain the venous drainage from the lysic gland. The sub uh, lingual gland supplied by subgland artery and supplemental submental artery and drained by corresponding vein, the lymphatic bridge anode of deep cervical chain directly. The nerve supply of both gland impulse from uh, superior cerebral gland nuclei in the brain skin as preganglionic parasympathetic with nervous intermediates of seven uh, uh, nerve via cordless impact to the lingual nerve and then to submandibular ganglia. The post ganglionic parasympathetic goes directly to 
the submodular ground and to the sublingual ground by lingual nerve. The fourth ganglion is sympathetic from superior cervical sympathetic ganglion come via uh, plexus around the facial artery. The sensory passes from the ground via lingual nerve. Thank you for your listening this lecture.